People were asking what your strategies are to incentivize miners to participate in merged mining. Yeah, really good question. So um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm do this live. Um, hmm. There is a, we, were, we actually published a, a, a mining, merge mining report uh, last week, I believe. And, um, you know, as part of the report, we were kind of reviewing over the year how much had been paid to the Bitcoin miners. And yeah, we're looking at I get some stats here. Yeah, it's a significant amount. I'm not going to quote the I'm not going to quote the stats live, but there's hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, several hundred mm-hmm. thousands of dollars a year going to the Bitcoin miners. I'm cautious of quoting the stats in case I get them wrong, but several hundred thousand dollars a year are supporting the Bitcoin miners with a completely alternative revenue stream uh, that is um, independent of Bitcoin mining, but using the same compute power. Um, and this is why when we say that we're economically aligned to the Bitcoin miners, we're, we're literally providing, Rootstock is providing entirely new revenue streams for them. Uh, and we believe very strongly that other Bitcoin L2s should follow a similar path because supporting the Bitcoin miners is, you know, they, they, they of course have their own like independent economic model. But if you're building a, an economy off the back of the proof of work mechanism that they're building, we think that you should be you should be contributing to that and you should be sort of paying your way essentially. And Rootstock definitely does. Does Rootstock need um, separate sets of, of miners or do you use directly like miners of the Bitcoin blockchain and that's it? Yeah, exactly. Really good question. So we use the miners of the Bitcoin blockchain. Um, the merge mining process essentially, I have the. I can probably give you a quick list. So, uh, Ant Pool, uh, Brains, BTC.com, F2 Pool, Luxor, um, via BTC, um, Sec Pool. So it's the existing Bitcoin miners uh, that are merge mining with Rootstock. Um, mm. We're always trying to add more, and mm-hmm. of course the 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 amount of hash rate that's securing Rootstock varies. But right now, I think we're we're hovering around sixty percent of the Bitcoin hash rate. So sixty percent of all the hash rate that's brought to bear to mine uh, Bitcoin is also merge mining on Rootstock as well. So, do Bitcoin miners do, do they need to opt in to mine Rootstock? Yes. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. And um, when they do that, obviously they get a uh, um, uh, this incentive, this share of, um, I guess, is it fees like network fees? What what your Exactly. Were these yeah. hundred thousand? Exactly. Exactly. They get a share of all of the transaction fees that are that are generated through the network. And you know, one of the interesting things as well is you, the Bitcoin miners only receive a, I'm simplifying here, but a fee for mining Bitcoin if they manage to unlock a if they manage to find the next block and receive the fee receive the reward in Bitcoin. But that's not the case with Rootstock. They generate fees whenever they're merge mining. Um, so mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, you, if you could imagine 10 miners and one unlocks the next Bitcoin block, um, all 10 of them are going to be receiving fees from Rootstock for the merge mining process. So in, in this kind of symbiotic relationship, do, does Bitcoin also, um, share any of, of the risks of, of Rootstock? Like, are there any, I don't know, security implications for, for Bitcoin? If anything goes wrong with Rootstock, because you are using Bitcoin miners, I don't know, any, any chance that that could um, affect Bitcoin itself? I mean, to be, to be straight, no, not really. It's entirely beneficial for the miners. Um, mm-hmm. Rootstock is independent of Bitcoin, but mm-hmm. shares the hash rate of the miners. And were anything to go wrong with Rootstock, it would in no way, shape or form impact the miners um, or, or the Bitcoin blockchain. 